Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the launch press conference for, for me, one of, the, one of the most intriguing fights of 2022. If you look on the boxing calendar right now, this one really catches your eye. You've got a two-weight, three-time world champion, unbeaten, Demetrius Andrade, you can see on the screen here. He's travelling over to the UK and he's taking on Britain's own Zach Parker, unbeaten himself, a natural super middleweight. The fight takes place on May 21st at Zach's beloved Pride Park, Derby County, the home of them. It's for the interim World Super Middleweight Championship. With me today, we have joining us via the powers of technology, Demetrius Andrade, unbeaten WBO World Middleweight Champion. We have Neil Marsh alongside Zach Parker, longtime manager of Zach Parker, who is, of course, unbeaten. And uh, yeah, this, this is his big night. And the man that's Delivering that big night, making it all happen on May 21st, is Hall of Fame boxing promoter Frank Warren, who we're going to come to first. Frank, firstly, um, Demetrius is joining via Zoom. He's not here in person, so I don't know if you want to say anything uh, about that. Clear it up. Hi, Demetrius. Thanks for joining us. I know it's the early hours of the morning now. Um, obviously, the reason Demetrius is on Zoom is because, unfortunately, his passport had expired, and uh, he'd been way hoping to get it by today, so you can join us today, but that's not been the case. But we'll get him over in the next week or so, with a bit of luck. Um, but we're obviously very pleased that he's here and made the effort to, to join us for the press conference. Big show, Frank. Um, and it's, again, it's a purse bid that you've won. You're, you're getting used to that winning feeling in purse bids. Um, t talk to us a little bit about the importance of this fight and how important it was to secure home mm. advantage for your man. Well, on, on a number of fronts, it's important. It's important for it's, it is for the interim title, but for the winner, it's a really, it's really important title to have. You got Canelo, whose next fight I think is at light heavyweight. He's the current champion. Is he going to stay at that weight, or is he going to move up? If he stays at the weight, the winner's going to get a shot at him because the mandatory will be due. If he goes up, then the winner of the interim title will be installed as the full champion. So it's a, it's, this is a fantastic opportunity for both boxers. Uh, from Zach's perspective, I was determined that we would win the purse bid. I want to give him every opportunity I can. You know, he's with us. We promote him. He's a, he's been a, he's a joy to promote. He's, been, he's, a, he's a great fella. I really like working with him. He's been number one in the WBO now for quite a while. He's only 27 years of age. He's got a 22-0 record. Um, and he's fighting in his hometown, and not only in his hometown, as you mentioned earlier, at Derby County, which is his football club. Um, and the reason we're putting it on there, because I want the fans in Derby to get behind him. I'm a big believer in you know, trying to get every advantage as you can for your fighter. Um, and we've done that. We've secured that. Demetrius is, uh, as you say, a two-weight, three-time world champion. He's now moving up to the super middleweight division. Um, and I think that Zach is a, I think he's bouldering on a light heavyweight. He's a very big super middleweight. Um, he's very underestimated, in my opinion, as, as a boxer. We know he can punch as a boxer. And I'm hoping with all these advantages that we've managed to secure outside the ring for him on the night, that's going to translate into a really good performance and a win for him, from him against a really good quality fighter in Demetrius. You know, he's, uh, we all respect him. We've got no problem with that. He's a bit of a, he's bashed a few Brits already over here. He's got three guys he's beaten from this side of the pond. Um, but I think in Zach, and I believe in Zach, he's fighting a natural super middleweight. You know, Liam Williams came up from light middleweight to middleweight. You know, Zach is a naturally big guy. So, that's, you know, my opinion, but I'm sure Demetrius has got his own opinion on that, and I'm sure he'll tell us how he feels whilst we're doing a press conference. Well, I want to bring in Neil Marsh here. Um, Neil, you've been, uh, you've been with Zach since I think he was 7-0, and and now he's 22-0, he's and and it feels like the stars are all aligning for his big night on May 21st. Is that how you're seeing this? Yeah, definitely. Um, me and Zach's been together six years now. Um, it's been tough getting here. Um, he'd be a lot bigger name now if previous people had um, promoted him correctly. And obviously, 
14, 15 months ago, we was looking for a, a promoter who could take us all the way to the top. And um, we didn't speak to any other promoter. It was Frank Warren. And he was the guy who we wanted to lead us um, into this next chapter. And you, all you need to do is look at Frank's history. Hence why we signed with Frank. And um, he honoured his word. He gave us the development fights. And collectively as a team, we believe Zach's ready to go. Um, we're not underestimating Dimitri Andrade. He's a two-weight world champion. He's unbeaten. He's, he's, he's avoided in, in the US. I think people could have done a better job for him. Um, hence why he's entered into this agreement with, with Zach Parker. And boxing's about timing. And th this kid here, he deserves every bit of spotlight what he's going to get here. And, and the kid's a beast. And... As I say, it's because people haven't seen him on the big stage enough that people have got a question mark over him. And let's be honest, you know, Dimitri's passport has expired because he didn't expect to be coming to England. You know, let's say it how it is. You know, no disrespect to Demetrius, but I, I also think Demetrius has got greedy. You know, we, they're all thinking Canelo money, Canelo money. Well, you're going to come to Derby and you're going you're gonna to meet Zach Parker. This isn't Liam Williams or Brian Rose. And, and you know, that's exactly what I, what I think of the fight. And, you know, I just want to mention Derby County and especially that Angela, who's really got behind him. Ticket sales are going well. And um, this is a real, real ding-dong of a fight. And it's a 50-50 fight, in my opinion. And, again, massive respect to Demetrius. But my man's going to come out on top that night. I've got no doubt about it. Tell us what makes you so confident in that. I mean, I've, I've been speaking to you away from today, and you talked about how he's a smaller guy, Demetrius Andrade. Zach Parker's a, a massive super middleweight. And, of course, Demetrius Andrade is now 34 years old. Um, Zach's, what, 27 now, Zach? I mean, in, in, the, in the prime condition. Tell us where you get so much confidence in your man on May 21st. It just be confidence in Zach's ability, um... You know, not every fighter listens completely in and out the ring. Zach Parker does. Um, we've had him tested. We've had him some good learning fights. And the kid listens. And I honest, honestly believe, from what I've seen, he's not even out of second gear yet. He, you know, and it's frightening. Look what he's done already. And I know Demetrius is stepping up. I know he, he struggled a little bit of the weight. But boxing's timing. When Zach Parker hits you... Everything goes out the window. And that's what's going to happen on this night. He's got power in both hands. He can box, he can move. Demetrius, listen, 31 and 0, two weight world champion. He's no mug. We, we know that. But we're not looking at him and thinking, we're the underdog for a re we're five to two underdog with the bookies. But this man's starving. He's got a new child on his way. We've been starved of opportunities before Frank Warren. And now we've got it. And throughout his career, some kids take opportunities and some don't. This kid does with both hands. And he's going to take this opportunity with both hands. Well, I saw, uh, I saw at the corner of my eye Demetrius uh, laughing a little bit at some of what Neil was saying. Uh, there was one moment in particular where Neil said, when Zach Parker hits you, everything changes. That seems to humour you quite a lot. Uh, Demetrius, uh, I want you to feel free to chip in at any point during this press conference. Uh, what, what are your thoughts heading into this fight? Let's bring you in. What's going on, people over there? Frank, Zach, and Mr. When Zach puts his hands on me. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, listen, I can't wait to get over there to England. Um, I believe Frank Warren and Zach's going to do a great job promoting the fight over there, getting the Derby fans and, you know, also my, my fans as well into this um, stadium. I think it's going to be a, a wonderful night. Uh, I can't wait to get out there and, uh, you know, showcase my skills and talent and, uh, you know, greet the fans and show them why I'm the world's best. And, um, you know, just put on a great performance. You're heading into the Lions' den. You are, you're leaving the U.S. You're coming over to what Zach has said, what Neil said will be hostile territory. Any concerns or does that just excite you even more? Definitely, um, the, I'm excited. I'm a world champ. 
you know, I traveled all over the world throughout my whole life and been in the lion's den plenty of times, you know, who am I to say I'm the best if I can't go over to somebody else's backyard and give them an old ass whooping. So, I mean, that's, that's just what it is. Any, anybody else, anybody else probably would have lost the first bid against Frank Warren and had to go overseas. Maybe would have just poked out, made it, thought of a different route, but that's not what we're doing. And if, you know, I'm coming here, Zach's going to get the opportunity to fight for, you know, one of his biggest fights he ever had in his life. So this is a great opportunity for him, a great opportunity for me, and the best will move on and move forward. And I just can't wait to make it happen. Liam Williams, Luke Keeler, Brian Rose, just a, a few guys from around this way that you've, you've beaten. Do you just see Zach in the same sort of mold, just another Brit that you're going to bash up? I mean, you know, this is this is this is the fight game. So anybody that I step into the ring with, I'm going to you know put my hands on and you know bash up, of course. Um, but uh, I don't I don't look at I look at Zach as he is a, a young kid trying to make the best of himself. That he's going to bring his A game and he's going to bring the best performance of his life against me. I'm going to bring that out of him and hopefully he brings the best out of me and we put on a great performance and that's just what it is. But good luck to him, his team, but um, this is this is nothing he has he hasn't seen anything like this before. So I've been all, all over the world plenty of times and it's nothing new to me and um, I'm ready to show and make my mark and this is part of my obstacle of my legacy. So I'm not afraid to do whatever it takes to make sure that I become a Hall of Famer and have my own legacy. So this is part of it. So let's get it on. Zach, let's bring you in here. You've uh, you've never seen anything like this. Um, this is the moment for you. Talk to us. What are your thoughts heading into this fight? Yeah, obviously, um, biggest fight of my career. And uh, I'm going to take it with both hands. Um, like Neil said, he's a two-weight world champion. He's been around the block. Um, obviously, he's getting on a bit now, 34 years old. And, uh, yeah, I just think it's my time. 27, come up and coming and uh, yeah I just want to say uh, thanks to Frank Warren and obviously all my team uh, for getting behind me and getting this back in, uh, in Derby and uh, especially at my football club Prior Park uh, so yeah I'm just looking forward to the fight now You've said before that you believe that Zach, uh, that, that Demetrius has made a bad decision in coming to Derby, talk to us about that Yeah obviously I, I just think it's everything's going in my, my favour um, obviously I'm young it's in my backyard that like, you get um, a G up from the crowd. So, yeah, I just think it's all in my favour. And uh, come fight night, I'll show it as well. What's going to be the main difference then? Yeah, he's, he's coming up a weight. Um, I just think I'm too big and too strong. Um, he, he started off a light middle, um, went up to middle, and now he's come up to super middle. I mean, you've seen the other fights, he's been hurt. And, uh, yeah, when, when I land, I won't, I won't lay up and uh, I'll get him out of there. You've stopped your last five opponents in a row, and four of them had never been stopped before. He's never been beat, never been stopped. Is he next? Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, I'll be training for the full 12 rounds, but if the knockout presents itself, I'll take it with both hands. And you've seen in my last few fights, when, when I get someone hurt, I, I keep going until I get them out of there. And, uh, yeah, if that, if that opportunity points itself, and I'll do the same. And Demetrius, for you, I mean, uh, you must have heard it all before, right? I've seen so many Demetrius Andrade press conferences where the opponent says they're going to do this, they're going to do that, and then the first bell rings and they don't do much of this and that. Is this just more of the same? Listen, I don't pay attention to, you know, the, the, the talking part. I'm not, uh, Zach seemed like, you know, a respectful man. A lot of people will sit there and, you know, trash talk and do all the extra stuff that doesn't need to be uh, done. We can sit here, we can talk shit, we can present what we're looking to do. No, nah, he's looking to get the knockout. He's looking to get the decision. Same here. You know, once the bell rings, everything changes. It's not the same when you're sitting there behind the desk with a microphone versus when punches are being thrown at you by somebody that knows how to throw punches. That's the difference. So, therefore, um, you know, I'm just getting in the greatest shape of my life to prepare to, you know, go to battle with a crowd that is going to be screaming boo-boo, you know, either, either it's going to be for me or it's either going to be for him, but it's going to be a fun night. Regardless of what's going on, it's going to be a fun night. 
Zach's a big guy. Career super middleweight. We've seen you down as low as 154 pounds. Zach was probably 13 years old when he was 154 pounds. He's a big guy. How much of a factor do you think his size is going to play in this fight, or does it just not matter? I mean, you know, David and Goliath. I done fought guys 6'5". I done fought guys 6'4". I done got four guys in the height. You know, um, his, he might have, you know, a frame. I'm not too sure until I get in there. But at the end of the day, I know how to dissect. I'm a doctor. doesn't matter how big he is. That's not what this is about. It's not about how big he is. It's about what we do and what I'm going to do when I get in there. It's not about him size. It's about how can you hit something you can't hit. Okay, so it's not about all that. We're going to go in there. We're going to tangle. I'm glad he's big. Gives me a lot of options. And, you know, here we go. It's, 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 it's fight time. One thing he mentioned there as well, Demetrius, was uh, you're 34 years old now. He said you're getting on a bit. Um, is Demetrius Andrade at 34 years old at 168 pounds, is he the same fighter? I mean, if 34 looks this good, then, yeah, 34 is a really good thing. Zach, one day you'll be 34, man. You wish you looked this good, man. Yeah, <laughs> one day, bro. Set, <laughs> one day, man. One day. You're going you to be 34, man. But, um, yeah, listen, 34 is not old. You know, I don't know why. Well, I haven't been hit. I haven't been down that roller coaster to say 34 is old. Yes, the fight game is not for a very long time in life, but I'm I'm still here. I'm still young, and I got a lot of I got a lot to give. Zach, when you look at Demetrius Andrade's resume, is there anything that pokes out at you? Anything that stands out that make you think, oh, that's a you know that's a big win? Maybe I, maybe I wouldn't have beaten that guy. Or, or, or what do you think? What's your general feeling towards Demetrius Andrade? Well, everyone he's beat, I probably beat him in better fashion. That, that's what I think, and. Uh, He's beat like the same amount of world champions what I have, which is zero. So yeah, uh, no one really stands out. And uh, yeah, I just think it's just the right fight for me now, and uh, I just can't wait for May 21st. Do you think he can be successful at super middleweight? No, because it's fighting me. <laughs> well said, um, Frank. Let's let's bring you in here. So you were, of course, the promoter of Liam Williams. Heading yep. into the fight with Demetrius Andrade, you were, of course, back in your man. Yeah. You're back in your man this time. Why is it different this time? I was very uh, disappointed in Liam's performance, to be quite honest. But having said that, Demetrius boxed really well, so I'm not going to take nothing away from him. He did what he had to do from the first bell. But I think um, Liam just fell into a pattern and never got back in the fight because, you know, Demetrius didn't allow him to. But uh, he, again, like... Uh, like Demetrius came up through the weights, light middleweight, middleweight. I think there's a lot of difference this time round. You know, I mean, Zach. I, I, I'm not being disrespectful, but I, I think Zach is a. I think he's the best super middleweight in this country. I really do genuinely believe that. I don't believe any any of the guys there will will beat him or could beat him. And I think this is a re, this is his moment. Um, it ain't going to be easy, that's for sure. You know. Uh, we're boxing people, you know, when we say, oh, you're going to do it in, you know, one, two rounds, of course, of course, you know, he's, he's, he's a very experienced man, he's had 31 fights, he's an Olympian, um, and as I say, one titles at different weights, but no matter who it is, there comes a day where somebody gets beaten, and there comes a day when you meet somebody who, you know, who, who, who's destined to go on and do big, big things, and I genuinely do believe that Zach is that guy, I think he's destined to go on and become a, 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 a one of one of the British greats. I look at him how I looked at jo young Joe Galzaki. And at that time, back then, there were people saying Joe Galzaki couldn't do it. They're similar. They're both tall. They're both rangy. Good chins. Can fight. Both bangers. Got good jabs. And I think uh, Zach is, uh, 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 and, and the fights he's had, was it three, three fights now? Three fights, he's beaten undefeated fighters, you know, guys who've never been been on the floor, and uh, what he's done, he's done in style. Whatever it, whatever does happen, and we've all got our views. I mean, it's easy to have a view, but whatever happens, I think it's going to be a great fight. I think on the night, I think that the 
the fans are going to get really entertained. And I hope it's going to be a great night for British and Derby boxing. Well, Zach, look, we've, we've talked before about how, you know, this is, this is Demetrius Andrade leaving the U.S., for a big fight, but the last time he did that, he went to Germany and he, he became a world champion. What's so different about Derby? What is he going to feel on that night that he never felt before? It's because it's in Derby and not Germany. Big difference. Big difference. Yeah, obviously, um, I'm going to have the crowd behind me. It's going to be a hostile crowd against him. And uh, yeah, it's, it's when, it, like when he went to Germany, he wasn't boxing Zach Parker for starters. Um, and, when, when it comes to May 21st, I'll, I'll show you how good I am. Um, in my own world fights, I was just, I'll beat whatever's put in front of me. And this is just the exact same. Um, I want a world title, and uh, Demetrius just in my way. And, uh, yeah, I plan to deal with him on the 21st. Well, Demetrius, he plans to deal with you on the 21st. Um, his last five opponents, he's, he's knocked them all out. Four of them had never been knocked out. What? What do, you, uh, what do you make of this power? Is, is that power real, or is he fighting guys that maybe he's looking good against? What do you think? Did you hear that one, Demetrius? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you guys are breaking up a little bit. Not too sure if you guys can hear me. Yeah, we, we can hear you. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I just heard something about um, me coming out there. Yeah, look, there's a couple of things. So obviously, you're coming out there. He's got his hostile crowd. The other thing is he has knocked out his last five. He's looking good. Four of them had never been knocked out. Do you think much of his power, or do you think he is just being made to look good? I mean, listen, you know, to be able to knock somebody out and put somebody down, I mean, listen, I mean, that's not, that's not an easy thing at all. So, you know, maybe he does have power. But that, all that stuff doesn't matter to me. Everybody in the sport of boxing hits hard. Everybody. There's not one person that does not hit hard. When you get hit, it hurts. <laughs> if you haven't known, why don't you um, step into the ring and find out for yourself? But that's just to say. But that's what we signed up for. This is a part of the sport. This is part of boxing. I'm glad he, you know, he did what he did because now we put on and we showcase two undefeated fighters. His draw is... His knocking people out. My job is to come and, uh, you know, destroy and, of course, keep my win um, undefeated winning streak and continue to go for greatness. Neil, what's going to happen on fight night? <clears throat> I think, um, before I answer it, I want to give respect again to Demetrius. You know, you don't get where he is um, without being a top-level guy and working very hard. But I think very quickly he's going to realise he's in a load of shit. Excuse my language. He's going to realise he's in a heap of trouble. Like he just said, every fight he goes in, it hurts. But that's at 154 and 160. This guy really hurts. And he's got patience. And at some point, you're going to question yourself in that ring. And it's too late. You're going to get it, Demetrius. And my man's going to finish it. Again, no disrespect whatsoever. Frank Warren and the team asked us, do we want this fight as a team? And we think it's like Santa Claus. Where do you get a two-way unbeaten world champion who's going to do well with the promotion, who's been avoided in America, who's never fought at your way coming into your backyard? And we thank you for coming over, Demetrius. You are right. You, you know, a lot of people would have ducked her. But on that night, you're going to get hurt. And, you know, I'll wish you all the best afterwards. But that's just my opinion of the question you just said. Demetrius, feel free to respond there. Um, but they, Neil described this fight as Santa Claus has delivered you. What do you think? Hey, listen, you know, I'm not, I'm not here to get in a debate with the manager. <laughs> like, he can continue to do his job and hype the fight and do what he needs to do. At the end of the day, my... My thing is me and Zach Parker doing what we do, and that's fight, and that's putting on a great performance. And, um, you know, to all the managers' questions, I'm going to just put my chin right here so Zach can hit me. Come on, Zach. Come on. You can do it. You want to punch you the screen, Zach? I mean, we've it. seen that before. Go no, on. just wait until May 21st okay. and see if he's still doing that when he's on the floor. Did you hear that, Demetrius? I just want to make sure you, you heard that line. 
Yeah, I, I hear what he has to say, man. Like at the end of the day, I'm not, I'm not like I said, I'm not. You know, if you guys see me, you guys know me. I'm not a guy that's gonna go back and forth on what if, what if, what are we gonna do? How are you gonna do it? I'm gonna show like I've been showing for the 31 fights I have with 19 knockouts, and I'm moving up to the new weight class to take over. So it's all good. Zach Parker could say knockout. He could say he's gonna do all this stuff. But at the end of the day, everybody who have a, has the different change of game plan when I put my hands on them. That's the difference. Well, Zach, uh, he says when he puts his hands on you, you're going to change your game plan. How, how, how does this fight play out from your end? When that first bell rings, how do you envisage this fight going? Yeah, he's, he's going to say out, isn't he? Um, he's going to bring it. I'm going to bring it. It's going to be a good fight for the fans and obviously all the Derby fans uh, what are coming, coming out to watch. And Yeah, I just, I, just, I just can't wait for the fight now. May 21st, I've been waiting for a big fight for a long time now. And uh, yeah, and Demetrius won just in my way. I want I want that world title next. So yeah, I just I just I don't say nothing else but is that Parker win. Frank, any sort of final comments? Uh, obviously, this is a, a big night, not just for Zach, for Derby as well. It is. You know, it's a massive night for them. You know, we've got thirty-three and a half thousand capacity. Um, we want to sell it out. Ten pounds from every ticket goes to Derby County to the club. Um, and it's safe that money for them. It's, it's purely used for the club because of the problems they've had. Um, it's it's going to be fabulous, and uh, I'm really, really looking forward to it. I mean, it can't come round quick enough for me. There's nothing like a stadium fight. Yeah, it's nothing about yeah, nothing. Thank, like, yeah. thank, thank you, Demetrius Andre, coming to Derby, baby. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to make some changes over there. <laughs> um, thank you for coming, Demetrius. We're going to better, better but, the people. But, we're but better Demetrius, people for sure. Demetrius, with the greatest respect, we made you come. That's why we put that bid in that we put in. We was, we was guaranteed to bring you over here. And we really appreciate you coming here, as we do today. But on the 21st, it's going to be, a, I think it's going to be a really, really great night for British boxing. And I think we're going to see a new world champion. A new, and a star will be born. Demetrius, were you surprised that things have played out the way they have played out when it went to purse bids and obviously, you know, you had the might of DAZN and Matrim behind you. Did you expect that you'd end up coming to Pride Park? You know, I, in, this, in this game, I've been through all the bullshit. I've been had the shitty end of the stick going through this whole career and I still make it on top. And wherever I land, I end up coming on top. So it's all good. Yeah, at, yes, at the same time, it was uh, surprising. But it's Frank Warren at the same time. Like, we're not, we're not going against somebody that doesn't know what they're doing. There's no disrespect to anybody. Frank Warren is a great promoter. He's been doing this for a long time. He knows the business. He knows how to play. And, you know, I, it's Frank Warren. What can I say? No, uh, all respect to Frank Warren. Oh, thank you. That's very kind. And listen, there's an upside on this, Demetrius. You're not fighting on an app. People are going to see you. Yeah, for sure, for sure, definitely. So you'll be fighting on the TV, Demetrius. What, what's going to happen when people tune in on May 21st? Give us your final sort of prediction at Pride Park. Zach Parker, Demetrius Andre, Pride Park, tune in, fireworks. And still, baby. <laughs> <laughs> It's still, it's still, hey, the manager going to be like, you are one hell of a fighter, man. One hell of a fighter, man. Oh, you know, that's all just, you know, j you, wow, wow. Zach, good job. Oh, wow, Demetrius. Woo. Sounds like we'll all be new uh, Demetrius Android fans on May 21st then. Um, Zach, look, this is your night. This is your big show, May 21st. The starts. it uh, looks like they're aligning for you. I'd like you to sign us out. What, what's, uh, what's your final thoughts? Yeah, just uh, make sure you tune in May 21st. It's going to be a good fight. Obviously, both of us are going to bring it and uh, may the best, best man win, but I just can't see it going any other way but than that Parker win. Well, there you go. Frank, do you want to say anything? I just want to say thanks both to Demetrius and Zach. They're, they're thorough professionals. I'm looking forward to getting them both together before the fight for a, nice, a press conference where Demetrius can be here in person. Uh, it's, a, it's going to be, for me, a privilege to be promoting these two guys, which in a fight that I think is going to be exciting and will excite everybody. Well, there we go. Thank you 
Demetrius, thank you everyone here for joining us. Big night, May 21st, live on BT Sport. Pride Park, a step up in weight for the unbeaten Demetrius Andrade and a step up really in level for Zach Parker. Let's see how good he is. A lot of question marks heading into this fight. We'll see you then.